everyone, it's Victoria here. I hope all is wonderful with you, as always. So today, I'm going to be talking about how you make the transition from clay shooting to game shooting. Uh, it's going to be a slightly longer video than usual this time, so there's a lot to cover. And um, I've got three kind of key points and a little bit of homework for you, which will hopefully break it down and provide some food for thought to give you confidence to get you out in the field. It's also great for women who are shooting games for the first time. So if you've only ever shot clays, then there are quite a few things that you need to be okay with before you shoot live quarry. I'm going to run through a few points shortly and hopefully give you more of an understanding and give you kind of the confidence and help you form a bit of an action plan. So my first step, as you might expect, is safety. So much vigilance is required when you're on the peg. Uh, there are a lot of people involved when you put in a game day on, some of whom you won't be able to see or will be in close proximity. So beaters will be in front of you, guns and flankers, if you're on the end of the line, will be to the side of you, and pickers up behind you. So it's really important you know where all these people are. I've got a little refresher, which I'm just gonna run through on safety, just so it's at the front of your mind. So always keep your barrels upwards, only take a shot at something if there's blue sky behind it, so important. If in doubt, leave it out. Someone told me this on my first game day, I've never forgotten it. Um, if at any point you don't feel confident, please just don't shoot. There are plenty more birds, honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, always check your barrels are clear of any mud, snow or obstructions. And of, of course, obviously, um, before you put your gun away, check to unload it. So the list of safety points are many when it comes to game shooting, which I'm gonna elaborate further on in a future video. So your homework for this point is just to do some research on safety, have a lesson with an instructor and just get them to test you, watch you, kind of put you through your paces a little bit just to make sure you're super safe. So step two, biggie as well, preparation. So it's kind of the key when it's, it really is key when moving over to game shooting. So in this step, it's my view that you need to pre prepare yourself in terms of techniques, so lessons, get familiar with things like quarry identification, basic etiquette, and just kind of getting out you know, you're getting ready to get out in the field. So um, lessons, before you get going, you need to be competent in your ability and you need to be comfortable in shooting game style targets that driven targets. Before I had my first proper day's game shooting, I had a series of lessons with a game shooting instructor. He taught me how to shoot gun down, which took a little bit of practice. Um, you know, that's obviously where you start with a gun out of your shoulder and we spent hours and hours under the high tower and he answered every single question I had, which was brilliant. So once you're feeling com confident and competent with shooting gun down and driven style targets, if you get the opportunity to shoot on a simulated game day, I can't recommend these enough. These days are like a real bridge between lessons and being on the peg, my favorite sort of shooting. So just touching on instruction again, I can't recommend having um, someone stood with you enough on your first game day. They'll keep you on the right track, they'll remind you about safety, they'll carry your bag, uh, bring you confidence, um, guide you as to what's a sporting and a safe bird. And I also think it's really nice to have company on your peg as well. If you've got an instructor who can come with you, great if it's local, if not, just let the shoot know and they can book you on a state loader or find you someone who's qualified uh, to keep you company. Uh, etiquette is something new game shops tend to get a little bit hung up on, but you needn't. Etiquette just basically means be sporting, kind of courteous and safe. Um, in its purest form, etiquette means um, don't shoot anything that's unsafe, as we've just covered, i.e. no sky behind it. Don't shoot anything that's too low. Game is food and needs to be treated with respect. Uh, obviously, have respect for your quarry, which follows on nicely from that last point. Uh, your fellow guns uh, and the shoot staff, always be polite, gracious, and always listen to instructions um, from your host. Um, good etiquette is to never pinch your neighbor's bird and always have enough cash for the tip for the gamekeeper. Uh, then we go into quarry identification. Get familiar with what what you know what quarry you're shooting so when the drive starts lots of different kind of species can come over you might see a few jays pigeons which obviously are legal quarry uh, and you might see some protected species as well which you must not shoot at you'll soon get used to what a partridge and a pheasant looks like uh, pheasants generally have long tail feathers especially later on in the season uh, and the ends of their wings are splayed and they glide and soar Partridges, much smaller, have a faster wing beat, and they tend to jink about more, and they've got shorter wings and bodies. Do a little Google search for silhouettes of quarry uh, to get up to speed. Uh, or, I think bass have a very good uh, quarry identification guide, leaflet, and possibly on their website as well. Uh, observation, I think, is a key part of preparation, and there's nothing like getting first-hand experience of how a game shoot works before you actually get out there. So do you know someone who goes game shooting, who you can go and stand with on the peg and watch and keep you company? 
Uh, can you go beating? It's such a great way to see how your sport works. And it's just really good to kind of give you confidence, up your knowledge and kind of expectation really and help you feel super prepared. So your action points for this step are to have as many lessons as you need, um, watch our little uh, brief guide to etiquette video and swat up on your quarry silhouettes on Google uh, or YouTube and just observe a shoot if you can. And then my final kind of key point is kit and ammunition. So as game shooting is done in the colder months, apart from dry shooting, um, which starts in August, you'll need to get the right kit for the job. Um, get comfortable in shooting bulky in bulky winter clothes. So if you're shooting in the later part of the season where it's absolutely freezing, you're going to be layered up and believe me, it's not fun shivering on a peg. Um, if you've only ever shot in the summer months, you might struggle with your gun mount if you're layered up. So take time to practice your gun mount with your shooting coat and your layers on. Uh, you'll be really grateful, grateful for it when the season comes. Um, and then we have ammunition. So chances are, if uh, you have just been shooting lots of clays, you might be shooting a 21 or 24 gram shell. Uh, on a game day, you'll need something with a bit more punch to bring the bird down cleanly. Dependent on what you're shooting or when in the season, you'll need something between a shot size six or five and 28 gram upwards. Obviously it varies from high pheasant to kind of, you know, East Anglian kind of partridge, you know, seek advice. Uh, if there are going to be ducks on the shoot, you'll need uh, non-toxic shot, something like steel or bismuth. Um, you have to ensure you have insurance, so membership to one of the shooting organisations, really good value for money and that will ensure you are covered. Uh, so my final point for your actions are, and your homework is to get the right kit that won't affect your gun mount, get sufficient ammunition that will do the job and join a countryside organisation for your insurance if you don't have it, plus you get those full benefits. So these are a few pointers which I hope will help you on your way from transitioning to your first day in the field. Take some time to work out how many lessons you need, or if you're an experienced shot, what input do you need to help you brush up and get ready for your first day. Uh, you don't need to shoot everything that comes over you on a game shoot. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Just a few good sporting birds. Uh, be selective, be safe, be respectful, be confident and enjoy and go home with arms full of birds, get your freezer filled, share game around everyone that you possibly can. Um, learn all you can about safety, get used to gun down from your gun mount with your kind of layers on, uh, observe or tag along with anyone if you can, find someone to have on the peg with you and get the right tools and insurance for the job and that's it. Uh, if you are shooting games for the first time I really hope this helps, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below uh, and obviously share photos with me on social media when the big day comes, always here to help, uh, so get in touch and I shall see you soon.